Remind me why this guy is working here again. Apparently, he's thinking of taking over his father's store. So, he convinced Rose to let him train here. And so, free cooking classes, basically. Is he bored with cooking the books? That's why he wants to do this? I don't know why she wants to entertain him. Why don't you wait for me in the kitchen? I'll join you in a while. Alright, I'll start preparing the food for lunch. Kidding! Relax. Don't worry, Chef. I won't touch anything I'm not supposed to. Where's Khalid? In the toilet. Again. Yeah, I guess he's nervous about his first day of school. Come, Khalid. We better go. Did you forget something? I forgot to bring my exercise books. Just get them from the bookshop during recess. No, cannot. I have them before recess. Too bad. We don't have time to go home and get them. <laughs> I asked you last night whether you had everything you needed. I need my book. Khalid, whining isn't going to magically make your books appear. Okay, you go to school. I'll go no, 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 no. But it won't. Okay, okay. I know what we can do. Nikki is also in Cascadem Primary, right? I'll call Kenneth and see if Nikki can bring some extra exercise book for Khalid. Hey, tried calling you a few times over the New Year weekend. Anyway, I just wanted to see how you were doing. Give me a call if you ever need to talk or anything. Was that Shun? Just left him a message. He hasn't been answering your calls? <laughs> well, I guess he's been busy with his free clinic and all that. We are a family. Why can't she at least reply to our messages? Hey, uh, she already said that she needs space. So we just give it to her. Lah. I'm okay. He's the one who misses her the most. Handsome, don't worry, okay? I'm sure they are taking very good care of Ella in the hospital. I want to help her so she can get well faster. What can I do? The point is, there's nothing you can do. The best thing uh, for us to do uh, is to work hard. Is it? Of course. When we work hard, then we can give Ella the best medical treatment. Okay? Then I will work hard. Yeah, thanks. Thanks again for helping out with those exercise books. <laughs> you guys caught me in the nick of time. You were just about to step up. I still don't see what the big deal is. The bookshop is just there. If you forget, just tell the teacher you need to buy a new one. With all the Kiasu parents nowadays, I bet Khalid will be the only one who forgot. Can you imagine how embarrassing it will be for Khalid to be the one who forgot to pack his bag properly on the first day of school? Yeah, the other kids will never let him live it down. And it makes it that much harder for Khalid to make friends after that. Y yeah, of course. I completely agree with all that. Um, wait, can you repeat that again? I need to take it down. I'm sorry, if I don't make a note, I'll forget. Okay, after pounding out the spices together, fry the rempah in all until fragrant. Don't tell me you are giving him all my recipes. Ah, wow, Chi, I must say, I never knew how much time and effort it took just to make one dish. Uh, Chi, I thought you and Dewey are going to tackle packing up the storeroom today? Every single day is packing, packing, packing. I needed a break from it. You, you want to learn how to run F&B, right? then you better learn how to deal with customers also. Yeah, but Rose was going to demo for me. You can do that later. Come. Why don't you help Chadina out here for a while? You can come back in the kitchen later. I need to prepare lunch anyway. Come. We can work hard all we want, but I won't change what Jeffrey Yeo did to Ella. Oh, uh... Ella is trying her best uh, to move on, so we will do the same. People like him and Jessica Shelley don't need to move on. They are just happily enjoying life as if nothing happened. Of course, if you have money, uh, then things are different. <laughs> the news article even made Jessica look so poor thing, when Ella is the one who is the victim, and we are the ones who need to work hard. Ella is in hospital. At least our working up will help Hampson to concentrate on something. Which he wouldn't even need to in the first place if we didn't have such a jealous life. Sad, right? Spend our whole life working hard just so that we can survive. And people with money is a different story. There, eh, time to work hard again. Why? Because we have no choice. 
Piss off it. Ah, Rickson. Okay. Okay, so let me repeat your order. One nasi kerabu, less spicy without coconut. And one nasi kuning rendang, white rice rather than yellow rice. Beef changed to fish. All right, thank you so much. Your lunch will be served shortly. Excuse me. Who said you can anyhow allow the customer to customise their food like that? Um, Rose happened to mention that she just bought some ikan kura from the new supplier, so I thought it was going to be okay. You offered ikan kura to a customer? Mm. I didn't know it was going to be a big deal. I mean, we have it and the customer mentioned to like fish. No big deal. Nasi kuning rendang changed to white rice and ikan kurau is a totally different dish. We might as well throw away the menu. Yeah, but isn't customer supposed to be king? A king will have better taste. The poor ikan kurau will be drowning in rendang spices. Bruce, you see what this fella is encouraging? Uh, sorry, Harris. We usually don't do such things unless the customer has allergies. So please, next time, check with me first. So now how? What to do about the ikan kurau king? Since Harry's already agreed, we will have to try to accommodate to their request. I will come up with something. I bet it will be amazing. Not that it will happen again. Ma, eat. It's the famous Tau Sapi. Ah. Yeah, why buy this? I cannot eat all this. Lah. Once in a while only. Reason here one hour for this, okay? You and Handsome have been working non-stop. Take a break. <sighs> I'm going to make some more tau Ah, my favourite tau sapia. What are you doing here? I came here to help your ma. No, is it? Why are you in such a good mood? Why are you in such a bad mood? Hey, Ella's suffering is you can eat. If you don't want people to eat, then buy for what? Hey. What do you expect me to do, huh? Be like you? Walk around with a black face the whole day? I also care about Ella, okay? Is it? Is that why you encourage her to become a social escort in the first place? For your info, after Ella landed in hospital, last week I went to look for you, okay? For what? The first thing I thought is, what did Yok do to Ella to make Ella want to kill herself? It must be Yok's fault. I'm sure she denied it. Yeah. Even after I tried to beat the truth out of her, she's upset in her own ways. Ah, you know, Yok, she was a sister for over 20 years. I know. Just... I hate those Shelleys, okay? I also don't trust myself to be around them. I might do something I regret. Sure or not. Your girlfriend, Emily, is also a Shelley, right? None of your business. None of your business. Rickson, how many times must you ask me? Tell him I spoke to a surveyor already. Any problem, go and look for him. I'm coming down to the site now. I said I'm coming now. Somebody sounds stressed. Ah, uh, Emily. Sorry, sorry. I thought it was Rickson. What is it? You're not mad at me, are you? Mad for what? You didn't do anything. I'm just not used to going for so long without seeing you. That's all. I miss you. Sorry. I've been trying to help my mom and Handsome. They're both very affected by what happened to Ella. I understand. Take all the time you need. Just know that if you ever want to talk, I'm here for you, okay? I love you. Yeah, love you. How very sweet. If I didn't know better, I might even think that you just got off the phone with your husband. I was just checking in to see how Hawk's doing after Ella's incident. It's what any decent person would do. <laughs> I sure hope so. Because I do believe I made myself quite clear in my last conversation with our dear friend. I've known Ella for so many years and she's Hawk's sister. So I see no harm in asking after him and Auntie Mei Wan. They're still in shock about Ella. I'm surprised nobody saw the signs earlier. Surely the family would be able to pick up on something. Ella did a very good job of hiding her feelings from everyone. Look at you, rushing to defend the Lowe's. My guess is her dear brother must have been thoroughly distracted by something. Or should I say, someone? Just wondering if you heard from Shen over the weekend. I haven't seen him since before New Year's. No, I tried calling him and... Look, Matthew, 
I'm not his BA. I know, it's just that with everything that's happened with Ella, I think it's better to see if he's okay. Then go and look for him in his house if you're so concerned. I have work to do. Hey, uh, I just want to see how you're doing. It would be much better if I could just get a moment's peace. You know, I I don't know how you do it. I mean, it's one thing to be moving houses, and on top of that, you have work to deal with. Which I suppose you will have to wait. I guess the biggest change of all is when Zarin gets released. Oh, don't remind me. It's bad enough that we have to pretend to welcome him back with open arms for Khalid's sake. I'm more concerned about Adina fussing over her precious son all over again. But things between you and Adina have improved over the years, haven't they? Well, it's much easier to destroy something than it is to build it. Well, um, I just want to say that I really appreciate all the support that you've given to me and the Kempster. So if you need help with anything, you know, babysitting, exercise book, whatever, just give me a call. Or you can get Zarif to do it like you did this morning. So. Just to let you know that we do not offer menu customizations of any kind. All of our recipes are based on our founder's family traditions, passed down from generation to generation. Alright, let me know when you've decided what you want to order. What do you think you are doing? That's what you wanted, right? It's the way you tell them. I can tell, you are doing it on purpose. Don't try to be funny, I'm warning you. Uh, what? what are the two of you squabbling about? Chi here thinks that I'm trying to be funny by telling the customers to stick to the menu. He's smoking me! No, I'm not! Yes, you did! No, I, I wasn't. I was you. just okay, trying okay, to... Stop it! <sighs> if the two of you can't work together, maybe you should just... I was just leaving anyway. I need to go home and check on Dewey. <sighs> tell me the truth. Were you doing this on purpose or not? Maybe a little bit. What? She's the one that's been giving me a hard time the whole day. Anyway, it's fun to chocho -cho her. Admit it. I'm sure you agree. Get back to work, please. Matt! Hey, um, I've been meaning to ask. How's Yoke been since that whole thing with Ella? She's fine, thanks. I was just thinking about the article that came out in Keynotes on Christmas Eve. Do you remember that? Matter of fact, I do. Is it true that Shen was cheating on Yoke with Ella this whole time? If so, it's a real bummer for Yoke. If so, I wouldn't believe everything you read, Julius. I don't know, bro. I mean, people in the office seem to think it's true. Some of the higher-ups have been talking about whether Shen should still be involved with the KS Foundation. Uh, they are just rumours. I'm sure they'll die down soon. Uh, well, James isn't happy about it, that's for sure. I heard he gave Shen a hard time about it last week. And then Shen whacked him back. I hope he's okay. Have you been in touch with Ella? She's been through so much, that poor girl. I do hope she feels better soon. Yes, yeah, Shelley. Please, don't try and act as if you care about Ella. Young man, I've known Ella her entire life. Far longer than you have, in fact. You people are all the same. All you care about is looking good. How much did Jessica pay that fella from the Prattler to take the video of her and the crocodile tears? You appear to be lashing out. I wonder why. Concern for your dear sister? No, that's not it. It must be guilt. Don't talk as if you know You're guilty because you failed to spot the sign that Ella was headed down the self-destructive path. She was the one who kept it a secret from us. Or could it be that she was crying for help all this time, but you were just too, shall we say, distracted with your little affair?
now that we have a bit of mel, let me share with you how I prep dinner. Hey, Kali. <laughs> how was your first day of school? Good. Mm. How many friends do you make, Khalid? Tell Mama Rose. Ten. Oh. Wow, that's more friends than I've made my whole life. Wow, so you like school? Yeah, I like recess. <laughs> uh, Rose, I have to head back to the office for a meeting. I'll come back here for dinner later. Sure. Bye, Ibu. Bye-bye. Okay, Khalid, um, you be a good boy. Sit down here and read your storybook, okay? Mama Rose needs to get back to work. Okay, there you go. Okay, as I was saying... You know what's the worst part? People like Jessica. She really knows how to get inside Ella's head. <sighs> Jessica knows. She knows how much Ella hates her life as one of us. So she took advantage of it. It's all Jessica's fault that Ella kept wanting to get back her old life. Confirm. They want to make everybody look bad so that they themselves can look good. Exactly. And now, even though this is all their fault, they are trying to do the same thing. You saw Jessica's video? Acting like she's the victim. Yeah, sickening ah. Hey, this Jessica talk about how she always tried to help Ella. Huh? Check up on her. Poi ah. And Auntie Maywan looks like the bad guy. These rich people are all the same. I hate them. Yes? Oh, you're alive. A good deduction, Matthew. I've been trying to call you over the whole weekend. Sorry about that. I've been busy. Okay. I just wanted to see how you were doing, especially after last week's news. Why don't we meet up for Tawi tomorrow? It's the usual place? Um. Uh, okay. Why? Don't tell me you're on some kind of soy-free diet or something. No, of course not. Okay then. I'll have to check the roster, but it should be fine. Roster? I'll text you and I can confirm the time. I gotta go. See you tomorrow. See you. Actually, is it my fault or not, huh? About what happened to Ella? Total rubbish. Because I'm the one who got her into it in the first place. I tell you whose fault it is. Those bloody Shelleys. Maybe you should have paid more attention to Ella. What can you do also? She doesn't tell anybody anything. That's why. I always thought she's so strong, so confident. I thought she can handle herself. But I guess she's not as strong as the... Stop. Stop. It's not your fault. <sighs> Ella has always been very proud. She doesn't like you when people pity her. So it's nothing to do with you. Understand? I didn't get the chance to thank you properly for your quick thinking this morning. No problem. Job has it, I guess. As a surgeon, I'm trained to think on my feet. Yes, doctor. We've heard it all before. Thanks for the reminder. Dara, don't be rude to your abang. Now, Khalid, tell Nene what you learned in school today. During recess, my friend showed me a cheat code for outer space warfare. The whole day of lessons, you only remember about your games? Hey, on the plus side, at least eSports is the thing these days. It's only the first day. Maybe they haven't started proper lessons yet. When they do, you better make sure you listen to your teachers, you understand? I don't want to hear any complaints from them. Yes, Ibu. I see that Rosani's protégé is still here. Don't get me started on that man. I must tell you, I still can't believe that you're so close to your ex-husband's ex-wife. You are not the first person to tell me that. And you're even helping them to raise their child. He must be lucky to have you. Did I say something wrong? There's something else I haven't told you. Khalid's father will be released from prison soon. He'll be moving back and with the family. How's that gonna work? I have no idea. 
all I know for sure is that everything is going to change and not in a good way. Somebody need to teach all these rich people a lesson. I also say. They think just because they're famous, they can do what they want. I'm going to put a stop to their nonsense. How? How? You can't join them. Beat them. Okay. So, when are we going to look for them and settle this? You really want to beat them up? You want to go back to jail, is it? I thought that's what you wanted. First, I will show them I have what it takes to become rich. Even richer than them. I will support you. And then, I will take those shellies now. One by one. You can do it, huh? <laughs> I can't wait to see you give it to them. I could smell the alcohol from two doors away. But can't just wait till after lunch. I really had an earful from James and Dad this morning. Oh, why let them have all the fun? As CEO, the buck stops with you. You do know that, right? This really isn't a good time. <laughs> Unfortunately, that also means you're the bottleneck that's holding things up, especially when you disappear for no good reason. Doesn't accountability mean anything to you? Ananya. Budget approvals for the new financial year. CEO's statement for investor relations. Memorandum for the JV for regional development. I'll get to them as soon as... You'll get to them now, Buster.